I have some very average vodka. The purpose of today's video is to find out whether hot tamales can save the stuff and turn it into something awesome before I have to throw it into the faints bucket. How's it going, chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, and this is another Meme Spirits video. The kind of video where I take some spirits that should just go into the faints bucket because, let's face it, I'm not going to drink it. It's just not that great. And we see if we can save it with something like hot tamales. So, to sum it up, can the hot tamales save the average, let's face it, below average vodka going into the faints bucket by uh, redistilling it with hot tamales or perhaps the maceration is the way to go. Uh, should we find out, shall we? I'm uh, guessing that you've already figured out I've made the maceration because I showed it to you already. I made that uh, last thing last night. All it is is some sliced up hot tamales with a little bit of spirits, exact, exactly the same stuff as this. Uh, I did it last night to let it, you know, do its thing, macerate overnight so we can compare. If you haven't had these little wondrous things before, uh, you're probably not in America because they're super popular there. I've never seen them in New Zealand until now because we've got this cool store that basically takes all of the leftover uh, American stuff that Americans don't want, <laughs> sends it to New Zealand. Obviously, if those of you that don't know, my wife is American, so, you know, every time we go back, she makes me, she forces me to try something that I haven't had before. And these, at some point in time, I don't remember when, were one of those things. For those of you that haven't had them before, these are just a giant cinnamon bomb, to the point where the cinnamon is so cinnamony that it is actually like almost spicy, kind of like wasabi spicy, not chili spicy, I guess. Well, it's cinnamon spicy, but you get the idea. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have uh, the half packet left over from the maceration and one more packet, which I am going to cut up and get into the still. While I'm doing that, let me tell you about the, uh, the actual spirits, which let's face it, probably shouldn't be there because this is rocking around a whole lot. Not the best place to be cutting things, Jesse, but you got to do it for the YouTube. Uh, that is B-grade vodka. And what I mean by that is it's vodka that I have over time while, you know, making cuts for vodka, thought this stuff is right on the edge of, of being good. Like, I think it's fine, but something in the back of my mind is just saying, eh, leave this jar out. Uh, I've saved those up over... I don't know how many runs now, uh, and they all got put together, and in the end, I wanted the jar that they were in, so I bottled them. I'm using two of those bottles today. So it's definitely not horrible. I mean, if you threw it into orange juice, or Coke, or dude, even like tonic, if you had it with tonic and lime, it'd probably be fine, it'd probably be passable, but, but, <laughs> I make a buttload of spirits, and, uh, and I make far more than I'm ever going to drink. So why would I drink something that isn't, you know, the good stuff? It just makes no sense. And it makes no sense for me to be hoarding it. I've, I've come to realize this recently. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let me get the rest of these cut up. We'll get the spirits in there. Uh, and then I'll let you know what the rest of the plan is. Huh? I had to eat the last two that were stuck in the bottom of the box. QC, right? <laughs> anyway, that is one and a half boxes of hot tamales. These are uh, 140 grams or five ounces. If you're playing along at home, you know, this might turn out amazing. <laughs> you might want to make it. You get the idea. And about one and two thirds bottle of vodka. There we go. Yay, I've got my bottles back. I can put something else in them. Now, here's the plan, guys. We are going to fire this up. We're going to get it warm, fairly hot, probably up to about 50 degrees Celsius. And uh, then we're going to let it sit for another hour just to infuse. We're going to let the, uh, the heat do its job with the alcohol, which is basically a solvent. Break that stuff down, get all those good flavors mixing around together. Well, 
that one good flavor, <laughs> cinnamon, mixing around together, and then we'll uh, fire it up for distillation. While that's going on, this is a perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of kick-ass classes specifically for creators. You can explore new skills and deepen existing passions. It's pretty cool. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, connect with other creatives and enter a community of inspiration and creativity. Recently, I've been watching The Art of the Start, turning ideas into high growth businesses by Guy Kawasaki. Now the plan for me was always to turn Chase the Craft into something more than just a YouTube channel, but uh, the daily grind gets in the way and I mean, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Honestly, I tend to get analysis paralysis with things like this, especially, especially when I'm moving from something that I know to something that I don't know. And this class has been helping me with that. It's helping me define exactly what is important and what isn't important, what I need to get done before taking the next step, rather than what I think I need to do before taking the next step. So, the first 1,000 still at subscribers that use the special link in the description down below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. You can get a lot of learning done in the month. All right, we had the rest, uh, and now we're this far into the rum. And I'm thinking that we're just about past, just about past what we'll call heads. I'll pop this over here for now. I'm just gonna use the little three jar system to shimmy things along before dumping them, uh, if that makes sense. So, you know what, actually, that cleaned up significantly more Definitely. Then when I last talked to you, I'm thinking this is where I'm gonna to switch to hearts, but um, you know, we can always change things up. Let me get rid of this because we definitely don't want that. Yeah, definitely. I'm calling those heads, so we'll get rid of those. Uh, these, however, we're definitely calling hearts. There's not heaps, there's not heaps of cinnamon flavor yet. I was assuming it would show up more in the tails, but this has me slightly concerned. Uh, <laughs> let's see what, uh, what shows up, I guess. I should get rid of these. Off to the faints jar. I guess I may as well switch these out just in case. Just in case. Sorry team, I had to turn the camera off. I had a few people turn up at the house and things needed to be sorted. Anyway, here's the deal. Uh, I kept looking for tails and we never found any. What I did get, however, is uh, this much hearts, which is uh, a little under 500 mils, with a relatively soft Cinnamon flavor. It's, it's totally there. It smell. It tastes just like the uh, the hot tamales, but not nearly as knock your socks off as these. I mean, okay, let's backpedal. <laughs> in terms of a vodka, there is a shit ton of cinnamon flavor in this, but not compared to these. Does that make sense? Uh, what I did find really interesting is I just kept running this to see what was going to happen because I couldn't believe there was only that much cinnamon in here. Um, and we kept collecting and this is probably down to, uh, I didn't measure it. I'm guessing it was coming off the still at like 25% or something. And this has a buttload of cinnamon in it. It's super, super heavy. It's not bad. It's not wet dog. It's not palesy in any way, shape or form. So I'm actually going to mix those, put them in together. Because why not? So, it has come to the point in the show where it's time to taste test these. And, considering how... Oh wait, do I want to keep this? Nah, I don't think so. I'm going to taste this first because I'm guessing that, uh, the maceration, I'm guessing this is going to be an absolute landmine of cinnamon compared to this. Anyway, let me proof this down to something reasonable. Hmm. Okay, uh, that tastes a whole lot stronger and a whole lot more like cinnamon than I thought it was going to. Wow, that's actually, that's really good. The spirit itself is better and improved. I've distilled it again and it was vodka that was you know, a little bit dirty, so that makes sense. Um, but the other thing that was kind of wrong with this is there was a little bit of, uh, I don't know, there was a little bit of kind of a vegetal taste to it as well, as just a, a heads thing. And I think the cinnamon flavors covered that up really nicely. 
Anyway, uh, that's specific to the spirits I was using. What you're probably interested in is whether or not this is worth making for you. And hell yes, that is a really rounded, interesting cinnamon spirit. Uh, I am keeping this. Last time I did this sort of video, I did the peanut butter M&Ms. And the finding was that the product I actually made wasn't that great. I wasn't going to keep it. I haven't kept it. Well, actually, it's still sitting here. But I'm probably going to just put it in the faints jar when I get around to it. The concept was good, but the specific spirit that I made wasn't so great because of the base spirit I used. This, on the other hand, is just good all round. It is uh, interesting and... It is interesting from a geekery point of view, but the actual product has worked out really well as well. So 100% be bottling this and keeping it. It doesn't taste entirely like hot tamales, to be honest. It tastes a little bit just like cinnamon vodka. Uh, so, I think to remedy that, we should probably try the maceration. What do you reckon, guys? Now, I've accidentally stirred this up, which is a slight problem because my original plan here was to Try just the clear liquid by itself, uh, and then agitate it up, uh, and basically mix it all together, because as you may be able to see, there's a bit of kind of sludginess sitting on the bottom. And I haven't decided, or I don't know, because I haven't tried it, whether the mixed version, with all its murky glory, wow, that's really thick, <laughs> or the more, you know, clear, just the stuff on top. Uh, what's better? I just don't know. So we'll try a little bit of both. That barely tastes like alcohol. That tastes like liquid hot tamales. Without the chewing experience and not quite as sweet. <laughs> that is just straight hot tamales. With a slight alcohol kick at the end. It's much, much sweeter. I think this is going to come down to personal preference and what you want from it. Uh, if you just want to drink hot tamales with a bit of an alcoholic kick, well, to be honest, a fairly serious alcoholic kick because that was 40 odd percent that went into there. Then do the whole kit and caboodle. Macerate it, mix it all together, make sure you get all of the sugary goodness <laughs> and goopiness that's all mixed together. Uh, if you want to go a little bit lighter to maybe like a I guess like a hot tamale liqueur. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit cleaner too. It's more like a liqueur rather than just a candy shooter. <laughs> Macerate it, let it settle, take it off the top. If you want a more refined spirit, and I can't believe I'm saying that because these are all, like I said at the beginning, full on meme spirits, um, go with the distilled version. You know what, guys? Uh, my wife has just got back from a, I think, like a seven-hour horse trek, and she hasn't been riding in a long time. So the last thing she wants to do right now is be on camera. But I'll take these to her <laughs> and get her answers. <sighs> All right. She pretty much entirely agrees with me. The one thing that she said different to what I've said uh, is that the distilled version is more wholesome. When I pushed her a little bit more to see what exactly what she meant by that. She just meant that it isn't candy. It's, um, you know, it, it tastes like a spirit. It's got a more rounded, polished, finished sort of feeling and presentation in the mouth. And these two are, you know, varying stages of candy, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, in any case, guys, I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so much, Patreons. Uh, this is semi your fault. One of you gave me a bunch of these ideas, so thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the tangible support as well. If you're watching these videos and you're getting value out of them, if you're enjoying them and you'd like to support the channel, you can go to chasercraft.com slash support to find out all the different ways you can do so. You can get the merch, you can get the... Man, I'm so bad at this. I don't have a Chase the Craft link in, but they exist. They're on the website. <laughs> or if it's right for you, you can sign up for Patreon. Uh, anyway, guys, I've had an absolute blast doing this. Uh, it is kind of surprising to me that this worked out as well as it did. Uh, I will 100% be keeping everything I've made today, and I will 100% be, I hate to say it, but potentially making more. Actually, you know what we need to do? We need to try mixing it.
because I might just literally proof this down and whack it into here. That might be the, the go, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to proof this down to 40%. I'm going to mix it into that. I will let it settle and I'll take it off clear off the top. So it is uh, pretending to actually be a spirit, not a candy that'll fuck you up. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've actually had way more fun than I thought I was going to have. To be honest, uh, there you go. Hot tamales will 100% fix your vodka. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have been watching these videos and you're not subscribed yet, sort it out, guys. Hit the, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.